Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Somebody had mentioned two videos ago that uh, Quartzsite is getting too full of RVs. Might be in the minority on this one, but I actually don't agree. I love seeing RVs, and there's a lot of distance between me and the neighbor, right? And uh, I'm out here at the southeast corner again of the uh, of Quartzsite. There's a lot of traffic, you know, obviously, as you can see, but a lot of room as well. A lot of parties, things like that. Um, I don't know. I don't mind it. I, I'm one of those weirdos. Today I want to run an experiment and see. Uh, we're getting pretty good lighting on all of our panels. We're only getting about 230 watts, but you can see that the sun is pretty uh, pretty low in the sky comparatively. Uh, and a little bit overcast, just uh, slightly hazy out here. Um, but we're getting pretty even lighting all around. One of our panels right there is getting a little bit of a shadow from what I can see. We can see a harsh shadow there. but. Otherwise, they all have pretty good coverage. But I want to find out, let's say we park in Washington. This is a, this is a good time to do this. Uh, we park next to a shady area, but we're getting sun on one side of our panels, right? I want to see how that affects our overall system. Right now, we're pulling in about 214 watts. And if I go ahead and I disconnect, we have four sets. So four sets of three panels. So four parallel connections, right? Positive and negatives. And in those four sets, in each of those four sets are three panels uh, connected in series, which just means if you have, say, two panels, you have a positive from one, and then the negative connects to the positive of the other, and then a the negative connects out, right? So if we go ahead and we disconnect one of these panels, we go from 216 to 157, 155. 155. Now if I connect another set, we can see who's kind of bringing in the big bucks here. 158, 155, 155. And another set. We're at 165, 164, 163. So that's getting a little less power, but it's definitely helping. Yeah, let me stabilize here, 207, 208, and 160, 158. So they're all bringing in about the same amount of power. That's kind of interesting. My theory is, is that if I were to say cover this specific panel and replicate shade, my theory is it would be better to disconnect that set or to have two different charge controllers that can supply their own voltage uh, and so a little bit more individualized system. Uh, so you'd be actually better off not having that set at all. Right now we're at 197 watts, 198. And I'm just gonna go ahead and shade this one panel. And that brought us down to 145. Wow, that's 144, 145. But I'm gonna guess that's, that might be this connection here, 145. No change, we're at 142, 143. Okay, no change there. Really, not a big deal. And if we drop this, this, that brought us down to 90, 88 watts, 87, 88 watts. Oh, interesting. Now we're back to 145, 146. If I disconnect the second set, this is going to be one of these guys. 101 watts, 99 watts, 98. And if I disconnect the final, 92, 89, 92. All right. Okay, and if I go back up, we're only at 106, 106 watts. Oh, sun must be dropping fast. All plug back in, 140. And let me just unplug one more time. 139, 140. So I think that's interesting. Because essentially what this is showing me, if I'm interpreting this correctly, is that if you have a set in parallel, um, so if I have a bunch of panels in parallel, and I cover one panel up, it's not going to make a difference. Almost at all. 
but if I have them connected in series, if there's shade on one panel for every panel in series, right? So the positive of panel one comes out and will connect in here. Then that negative of panel one connects to the positive of panel two. Panel two is negative, connects to the positive of panel three, and then the negative comes out. For example, that's how it's hooked up here. What that's telling me though, is that if I shade one panel, it takes out three, all three in this group, but it doesn't take out all 12. It only takes out three. Uh, so that's a good thing to know. So basically, whether or not I disconnect this group, it will make almost no difference. So if you're thinking about wiring, that's what this tells me is that if you want the most optimal system, you want to run every single one of your connections in parallel. There's going to be a little bit of a penalty for heat, and so you're going to have to have bigger wires. And obviously, you know, when you, when you run your wires in parallel, it increases the amperage, which is going to increase the heat. So uh, we want to stay generally with like 10 gauge wire. Um, eight gauge wire is what I'm running over here just to make sure everything's as efficient as possible. Uh, but you want to stay right around there, otherwise it just gets too thick. Uh, once you get to like six gauge wire, the price also goes up with every, every gauge increase. Uh, but that's kind of interesting. Also, as I plug that in, I increased another 40, 50 watts, somewhere in there. Right now, I've, so I've got four groups, three individuals in each group. Each of those groups are bringing in, right now with this specific sun, they're each bringing in between 40 and 50 watts each out of 300. I believe that I designed this properly. I'm thinking about the Holiday Rambler and how to do, uh, how, can I, how can I increase the efficiencies? And of course, you can buy new panels, you can do better wiring, blah, 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 blah. So, but what this tells me is that uh, I, I could potentially split my system, right, where I go, one charge controller for these guys, one over here. You know, that was my theory until I got up here and realized that if I shade one of these panels, it doesn't bring the whole system down. It just brings that one series set down, which is a good thing. It's not bringing everything down. So I actually think I'm going to duplicate this setup here. But the thing that I might try to do better is, as you can see, I got one, two, three. Now these are all kind of on this side, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. But if I were to increase this, and I don't know that I could have done much differently here, but for example, if I were to do this differently, just in a perfect world, um, I would actually go one, one, two, three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, if I could somehow do that. And then a second set over here. And that, of course, would be more than 12 panels. But uh, having them completely grouped differently, so basically in quadrants, so one, two, three, four, uh, would be ideal. Also, um, because we know that, for example, if this guy gets shaded, its two partners are out of commission, so they can't get the light. Having them all angled similarly, right, because this guy might not get as much sun, potentially, you know, if the sun's going down this way, this guy might not get as much sun as these guys do. So I'm hoping that's making sense, but the, the weakest link in that series, right? We've got three in series. The weakest link kind of determines how much power you're gonna get. So if it's only getting five watts, but the other ones are getting 100, you're only gonna get that five watts. It, it doesn't mean that you, need, you should have disconnected that, which is nice. All that to say, um, I will actually replicate this in the future. And I like playing around with, with connections and things like that. This actually ended up being one of the more budget-friendly installs, uh, just the way that I have everything connected. There are definitely better ways to do wiring and such, uh, but it is going to be something that we'll play around with and I can always modify it as well. <laughs> I see we have a fan, um, but we can always <laughs> we, we can always modify this as well. Um, and honestly, the amount of times that we've actually used our air conditioner, I'm glad we didn't take it off, but the amount of times we've used our ACs and how much they've actually helped, honestly, I'd rather have more solar and more fans than more air conditioners. So, uh, and if you look at the, uh, let's look at the footprint of this guy. It's about half the size of this. Yeah, give or take, maybe a little more than half. But you could definitely, you know, had we done this a little differently, we could have put more panels going this way, right? They, they brought this in, so we could have pulled this out potentially. Gone one, two, three, you know, this guy on the side, whatever. But I definitely don't regret this install. I think this is a very good install for what it, what it is. 
Um, and I think I'll be replicating this. We don't really know the layout of the Holiday Rambler yet. Uh, we don't know what opportunities we have. Uh, and I like to keep the installs simple, but uh, the, the hardest part is kind of working around these obstructions, right? Vents, um, wine guard systems, that one, that was frustrating because I could have put two panels here instead of having that stupid wine guard. And I know that the Holiday Rambler is going to have more fans, but um, it's also going to have two air conditioners, but it's also going to be about six feet longer, right? So we'll have different opportunities there. I'm kind of working this through in my mind, kind of chewing on it a little bit, but I am glad to know that I really didn't have to change anything. And the fact that I was considering doing two charge controllers, one for the left side, one for the right side, or passenger driver, as long as I connect them up like so, right? I don't have one panel on the left, one on the right, and they're both, you know, that's the same set of series. As long as that's the case, I'm not wasting any power. So anyways, does any of this make sense to you guys? Uh, is it helpful? I, I had to watch a lot of videos, a lot of videos before I started kind of like, oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. And it also helps just to do it, of course. Draw a little tiny schematic. I used the notes app, but you can use, you know, a piece of paper, whatever. Basically, you're always working with positive and negative, and up here with the panels, it's just a matter of, well, how are you connecting, you know, your positive and negatives? I hope it is helpful. We'll make a whole series of videos on, on installing, on uh, uninstalling our system, reinstalling a new system, and uh, I think that'll be a lot of fun. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.